Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and this is Normal here and in this video we will be doing the performance testing of the newly launched iQ Z7 Pro. Now iQ Z7 Pro is one of the really good devices with uh, really good hardware offered. Now this device comes with a Dimensity 7200 octa-core processor and you get 8GB RAM and this is LPDDR4 x RAM and UFS 2.2 storage. We will be doing the stress test, uh, CPU throttling test and to benchmark Geekbench. So all these testing we will do to see see how good the performance is on the iQ Z7 Pro. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So let's first start with uh, the CPU throttling test. So we have the app installed. So before that, let's go to the about phone. So there you go. You can see iQ Z7 Pro 5G, uh, 2.8 GHz Dimensity 7200 octa-core processor, 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage and Android 13 is the software version. So that's the device. So let's go with uh, the CPU throttling test. So we have the 20 threads and uh, 15 minute test. That's a default test. So we'll be sticking to the default test. So let's start the test and see how uh, the throttling is on this device. And you can also see that 95 percentage battery uh, is uh, the battery percentage at the start of the test. So let's see uh, in 15 minutes of uh, CPU throttling how much battery also drops. So now we have completed uh, the throttling test and you can see here it's done pretty good job here. Uh, the throttling uh, percentage is 88 percentage of its max performance which is quite good and you can see the max value is 245, the average value is 223 and the minimum value is 211. So it's pretty good in terms of throttling, 88% uh, of uh, its max performance. So you can see how it uh, did. Now let's move on to the stress test. So next uh, let's start with uh, the Wildlife uh, 3D Mark uh, Extreme uh, Stress Test. So uh, you can see that uh, the battery came down around 6% uh, in the initial testing. It came up to 89, now it's 87, but uh, after the test it was around 89%. percentage. So next uh, let's uh, see the Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So it's a 20 uh, loop test and let's see how the scores are and how the stability of the device is. So now we have done uh, the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and you can see here stability is excellent 99.7 percentage uh, stability and the best loop score and uh, the lowest loop score everything is there so not much of a difference so it's very stable and uh, you can see here battery went down from 87 to 82 percentage so 5 percentage drop in the 20 uh, round uh, loop test then temperature went from 31 degrees to 34 degrees again no heating issues frame rate is 5 fps to 8 fps so you can also see the battery details so here so wildlife extreme uh, stress test uh, excellent stability for the device next let's go to the antidote benchmark score so we have already tested the antidote benchmark score for this device so company claims around uh, close to 7 lakh 50 thousand so but we got around uh, 6 lakh 90 thousand and this is quite a good score actually uh, you can see here uh, for a device under the 20, 25,000 price segment so this is pretty good score CPU score is 2 lakh 33 thousand GPU is 1 lakh 79 thousand memory and the UX score so this is uh, the benchmark score for this device now next uh, is the storage test so this is a UFS uh, 2.2 storage it's not the UFS 3.1 so here we'll just uh, quickly test it again UFS 2.2 uh, storage and uh, there's the read write uh, sequence read uh, sequence write and random access uh, speed so let's see how good the score is for this device So 45,280 is the score, quite a decent score for a UFS 2.2 storage device. So that was the uh, test. Uh, now let's finally go to the Geekbench score and I will also see the Geekbench results.
So now we have completed the Geekbench uh, 6 test and you can see a single core score is 1162 and the multi core score is 2706. Again quite a good score I would say for uh, this price segment. This is uh, the Dimensity 7200 chip with 8GB RAM. So that was uh, the performance testing of the iQ uh, Z7 Pro with uh, the Dimensity 7200 chip and 8GB RAM and along with that Android 13 out of the box. So overall we feel that this is quite a good device for the price segment with extreme stability and good antidote score, good performance score. So in terms of performance, this is definitely a good device in this price segment. So that is the benchmarks and the performance testing of the iQ Z7 Pro. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.